Hi everybody, it's Rebecca with Cadence Canine and here at Cadence Canine we use prong collars to assist us in the training process. We use Hermspringer 2.25 millimeter and also 3 millimeter Hermspringer collars just depending on the dog. Hermspringer has these neat features where it has a trachea plate so it actually covers your dog's trachea and does not put pressure on it at all. Its prongs are actually reversed around the dog's neck so adding for a better fitting. And then here on the back, this circle prevents the collar from completely closing. The tips also are not sharpened, they're very dulled. On the prong collars, the prongs all fit inside of each other. So what this means is that when you take it apart, it has two prongs and they go in the holes. One goes in first and then I use my thumb to put it in the other one. I would practice getting used to doing this before you put it on your dog. This is something, it's an acquired learning thing where you have to get used to doing it to become very good at it, especially on a squiggly dog. All the prongs fit the same way also, and we want the same number of prongs on each side if possible. We're gonna move on to fitting the prong collar on our dog's neck. So I'm gonna use my arm as an example. We want the collar fitting snugly without putting any pressure into our dog's neck. So this is just way too loose. I'm gonna go ahead and start to remove some prongs. I'm gonna try to see the fitting again. We're getting close, but see how it's still hanging? We're gonna go ahead and remove one more prong. This is perfect. So there is no pressure being put on my arm, but as soon as I give a little bit of leash tension, it'll apply pressure to my dog's neck. When fitting, we also want to make sure that the collar is not twisted and that it's flat going on our dog's neck for the best, the best fit that our dogs will be able to feel. Very, very light sensation. Dogs also grow, so adjust your prongs. Keep checking your dog's neck to make sure they're not getting bigger or smaller and add a prong as necessary. We use a carabiner on the circle portion here, which we also attach to our dog's buckle collar. Just in case the prong collar were to break, we have a backup system to know our dog is going to be under control. You're ready to start training with your prong collar. If you have any questions, ask us at Cadence Canine on Instagram and Facebook.